Young Sulai and Kapuchia. Nicola is a Cambodian American footballer and you yes. have been in Cambodia since February this year. Yes. And right now, as uh, the US Embassy in Cambodia is celebrating its Independence Day here in Phnom Penh. So, can you uh, share with us your overall impressions? Yes, uh, well, first, the, this setup is amazing. Uh, this is the most at home in terms of like back in the US I've felt since, since I left. Uh, you know, you just get to see all the American flags, all the American style food and drinks and everything. Um, yeah, it's absolutely incredible. They did a great job. Uh, so shout out to the embassy. Yeah. Okay, so first, uh, uh, so Nick, uh, the first time that you stepped foot in Cambodia, I want to know your first impression. Yeah, it was, uh, man, it was, it was a unique experience. Mm -hmm. uh, even flying into Cambodia, um, I was about to land into Phnom Penh airport. And there was like a little bit of clouds in the sky, and out of nowhere, lightning like struck our plane, and like it was just so such a profound moment for me because like it felt like I was coming into like a new world almost, um, and then finally like touching down and you know going through the streets and seeing all the people and just like for the first time embracing kind of the culture, it was like. Uh, I felt so much at home. I felt really warm. Like I felt just love kind of right away. Even though I didn't really meet anyone yet, I just I felt already welcomed. Yeah, so uh, is it your first time coming to Cambodia or uh, time already? My, my first time was in September of last year. Last so year. Uh, yeah, so I've only been in Cambodia like a few times recently. Mm -hmm. um, but now I'm here permanently. Uh, so yeah, I'm very happy, very happy to be here. Yeah, so uh, what do you like about the country so far? Um, Man, it, it's busy. It's it's. I mean, in the city especially, it, it's busy. People are, are moving around. It's like never a dull moment. Mm -hmm. um, and I just, I mean, I love the culture, uh, and I'm, I'm learning the language, um, enjoying the food, everything. So I'm really just trying to embrace as much as I can, like my my Khmer roots. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, it's been it's been amazing so far. Oh, so you said you have been learning the language. So, yes. <laughs> uh, is it improving or what? <laughs> yeah, it's improving a bit. Um, I'm able to understand. Mm -hmm. I'm still really shy to speak because I sound like a little kid, but I can understand a little bit of conversation, um, especially when people talk a little bit slow. Mm -hmm. I can understand. So, so yeah, can you say something in Khmer audience? Knyom uh, Sulai and Kapuchia. <laughs> All right, Nick. So, uh, can you share with us your experience so far uh, joining the Cambodian uh, football team? Yes, uh, it's been amazing. Um, the environment is very, very professional. Mm -hmm. uh, I think Cambodia gets a little bit of like a bad reputation from outside in terms of like the the football here, but I'm very impressed. Like, it's it's really good. Uh, the coaches and the the managers and everything take care of the players. The players are very professional. Um, they want to win. They want to improve. So. Uh, yeah, I'm very, very happy here and uh, I'm very excited for the season to start. Yeah, so you were having a great time with uh, the Cambodian team? Yes. Right, so how long are you going to stay in the country? Do you um, have a specific plan? I don't know yet. We'll see. Uh, right now my, my contract is until 2024, mm -hmm. um, but there's a possibility to extend and go, and go longer. So uh, for right now I'm just enjoying the time that I'm here and uh, making the most out of it. Okay, so during your time in here, what... Uh, what are you looking forward to the most? The most? Yeah. I would say learning the language. Like I, I really want to learn, but it's I'm it's hard. It's really hard. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I mean, the grammar I can do, but my pronunciation <laughs> is so bad. So I think uh, learning the language and then just once I do that, like being able to to communicate with other Khmer people and getting to know more of like. The locals and the stories that they have because I think that's very unique um, and I want to feel part of like feel deeper part mm -hmm. of like my Khmer roots like right now kind of on the surface because you know I'm back in Cambodia all this but I want to be able like once I can talk to, to people more clearly uh, and get to know and kind of like share their stories I think I'll be really like immersed for sure. All right, so uh, like for four months that you have been in the country, mm -hmm. I'm curious, like how many places have you been to? Like different provinces? Yeah. Um, man, uh, I've been to obviously Phnom Penh. Uh, I've been to uh, Kampong Spu. Kampong Spu. Um, I've been to Siem Reap. Uh, I've been to 
uh, Porsat province. Yeah, Porsat province. Um, that's all I can really remember <laughs> for now. Maybe a few, maybe a few more. Maybe I just forgot. Uh, but I want to visit like Kaip and Kampot and Batambong, but I just haven't been able to make it over there yet. All right, all right. So uh, talking about Khmer cuisine. Uh -huh. All right. So do you like Khmer food or like oh, is there Khmer any food. specific food that you love? Um, when I first was like here, it was beef lock lak, but everyone, every foreigner likes that. I feel like. Um, but recently. Uh, I've been eating a lot of mango. mango, mango and like the the chili salt. Oh yes, yeah. like baby mango with chili salt, and then but, also but just like play. yes, oh <laughs> so good. I eat it like probably like three or four times a week. I'm addicted to it. So yeah. And in the U.S., I never ate mango, mm -hmm. but now I'm here. I I eat mango too much. Mm, yeah, too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, next. So do you have any say to your supporter or to um, our audience? Yeah, uh, to supporters of fans uh, not only of myself but the national team club teams uh, thank you so much for your support um, yeah I'm so grateful for you guys and I know all the players and everything they are also grateful for you guys as well so hope to see you guys at any of the matches for the national team or for the club team and uh, yeah thank you again thank you thank you very yes. much for your time thank, thank you so you. much thank you, thank you.